Cindy out here, Myers Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Um, I am here for Gina's design team. And what we're doing this month is she sent us a little packet of goodies, and I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, and that's cool. This is one of those wax pressed um, like letter sealers. This is the stuff that came in. She's got some really cool papers here. This little piece was with that one. Um, and then she left, gave us this piece of art. Um, the entire team is going to do this, but not everybody has the same stuff. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what we come out with this month. I'll show you the rest of the papers. Look at these. Um, these are not water, or these are not permanent. They're water soluble. So if you do get wet, get them wet, they're going to end up running and. But they're, they've got all kinds of metallic on them, which I think is really cool. This one, look at the metallic on that. This one's not a lot of metallic, just a little here and there. This one, which I think is really cool. I can't wait to use some of these on future projects. That one's cool. This one. Um, this just brown one. It doesn't have, oh, it has a little bit on the back. It has a little bit of shine, but not so much on the front, just a little bit. This one, which is fabulous. Love that. And then this one doesn't have any on it. No, it doesn't. So there's these as well as um, the three pieces of paper that I've picked out so far. There's the piece of art from this year. It's Gina's I 2020. Um, and then these are the ones I've picked out so far to use. I have this one, I have this one, and I have this one. Now, oh, we also received this beautiful, um, look at that, isn't that cool? Crocheted coaster. I absolutely love it. And sorry, Gina, but I'm not using that in art. I love this. It's just beautiful. So actually, I think I'm going to use it for what it's meant for. I'm going to put my drink on this. So that's just really, really pretty. Um, great job. Uh, the crocheting is fabulous on it. So, uh, yeah. So I'm, I decided I'm not going to use this as art. Uh, Gina won't get mad at me, I'm sure. So, and then this is one of her paper clips that she's been doing a lot of. This one says Just Done, and it's got the thermostat. And then, of course, it's a paper clip on the back. So that's cool. Um, this I don't know is it's going to fit in with what I'm thinking. So I'm just going to set this aside for right now. And she also gave us this little small um, stencil of a face. And that would be really cool. Um, but I, I have other ideas for this project. So I'll use that in the future. Alright, so like I said, I've picked out the papers I want to use. Which are these? I may end up getting more out of here. I'm not sure yet. But my idea is I want to make, um, you know how I make my embellishments and I just hold on to them for future use? I want to make this right here into an embellishment that I can put on a journal page. And if I can get this done quick enough, then I'll go ahead and play around and do a journal page with it, but no promises. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will chat with you at the end. Have fun.
All right, guys, so here's the piece I made. Um, again, this is for Jean Aaron's design team. I had fun with it. Um, I did notice that her signature I had cut apart was um, sitting here, so I wanted to put that on there because I know that, you know, this is her project and her pieces, um, you know, for her design team. <laughs> I just thought this was funny. It says, open your eyes. I know, I have a strange sense of humor. But instead of that letting, you know, just letting that wander around here for a while, this is one of my inserts from um, Bulky Ben. If you haven't seen that, just check out my playlist. I have a bunch of videos on there, and there's more coming. So um, let's see if we can put hmm, let's see if we can put this in here. Uh, no, this is just um, I made a bunch of signatures out of junk uh, for like a big junk journal, and he's huge. I think he's got 12 signatures in him. No, that washes out everything. Let's see. Let's turn it. What about this one? Perfect. I love it. However, I don't like all this empty brown. So let's take, uh, just so I make sure I don't mess up my other pages, wrong size. Hold on. I'll get one of these and I'll just throw this in there. Uh, I'm going to grab out some stamps, I think. Um, play around with some of the stamps that I did before. Then I can play around with some color. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. So let me use these original stamps that I used, which was this one and this one. I think this is a Bow Bunny series. I'm not positive, but I just, I love these two stamps are my favorites. Um, and I use the flowers quite often also. So just some archival ink here and it's in black. Uh, let me start with this one. I'm going to start with this one. And we are just going to... Oops. So I don't know. I've got two of these little pads, and I think one of them is running out of ink. I'm not sure which one. So I'm just going to throw a few of these on here. Basically, just because I don't want the paper just... Naked. <laughs> Naked paper. Not allowed. Oh, now my dog just got up on the chair with the cat. Be nice to Jazzy. Don't sit on her. Bucky, don't sit on Jazzy. Alright, so... Right down here. Middle I'm not really worried about because that's where that's going to be. And now I want to take the other one. I love this little stamp. It is so cool. It's all it is just little round circles. But let me tell you, those little round circles, I'm going to do it again sideways like this, um, make me happy. See? Little round circles. That's all it is. to re-ink one of these. I think it's this one that's running out. Pretty sure it is. So I just want to throw some of these circles on here. Alright, good enough. Good enough. Let's pull these out of the way. Shut that back up. And now, um, because I just, I really want to just get this kind of quicker in there. Um, instead of doing the whole Mod Podge thing and hoping it works, I'm just going to tape this. So I'm just going to use my double-sided tape. Oh, you guys, you got to see the big roll I bought of tape. It's crazy. As soon as I get done using up these little ones, my big one's coming out to play. I'll show it to you here in a second. And just remember, whenever you watch my videos, if I have new people on my channel, I just love to play. I love to play in paper and paint and glue and whatever other mediums I feel like messing around in. So um, just remember that when you're checking out my videos. I am not a professional artist. I have no intention of being one. I just, this is my nice quiet time to come in and just play and relax. And it helps me deal with the chronic pain. It makes me happy, and there's, you know, it's difficult when you're hurting so much 24-7 to be happy. 
So, I am going to put it right in the middle. Right smack dabber in the middle. Isn't that cool? I think so. Alright, I'm going to show you this real quick. See if I can get to it. Now, can you say a roll of tape? <laughs> it's huge. It is huge. And it's double sided tape, just like we already have. Um, but I saw this and I actually talked to the shop owner, and she said she uses one of these about every four years. So, there we go. It's going to be coming out soon. Once, it, Like I said, as soon as I get rid of all these little things, it'll be coming out. Alright, so the other thing I wanted to do real quick is I wanted to pull some of that pink out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pink. Is that the right pink? That works. And I'm just going to kind of do some of these bubbles here. Dots, circles, whatever you want to call them. As soon as I get my pen writing again, there we go. Um, I don't know if you guys do that, but what I found out with these gel pens, if they seize up, which sometimes they do, um, I just take and tip them like I just did on the top of the ca of my table, and they all seem to start working again. So I'm not sure what the deal is, but it works and they work just fine. So again, I just want to kind of incorporate this picture into that page so it doesn't look like it was just plopped there in the middle of the page. So that's why I'm getting some of the colors out. In a minute I'll take some blue. I'm going to do these all pink. Good thing I didn't do hundreds of them, right? And I'm not taking my time to make sure every circle is filled perfectly. I'm just putting color on at this point. That one's there. That's oh, I gotta do it. These are pink. So I'm just actually just kind of putting a dot there. Oh, this one's going on empty. That's why. This is one of my most beloved instruments. Is my um, gel pens. One of my favorite art supplies. Oops. No, it didn't even get in the circle. And like I said, I just kind of play around and see what, you know, I can create. That's all sticky. I'm going to have to leave that open for a while. Let it dry. Alright, so there's the pink. Now I just want to add a little bit of that blue. So that's more of a light blue. Oh, that's a glaze. I don't want that. Let's just use this blue. So I'm just going to kind of I'm not going to do all of them. Just kind of bring some of the color out so that, like I said, it looks like it's at least hanging onto this page or should be part of this page. I'm not doing every one, just here and there. Ooh, that one got a little bit where it shouldn't be. No big deal. It's not a professional job, and I don't expect it to be, and that's not what I want it to be. There's one there. Alright, and then the last thing I will do to it is sign it and date it, which I'm learning to do with all of my um, pieces. So it's CU. My pen's not working. CU. <clears throat> okay, so there it is. We have our Gina Aaron's design team, and this is for March, and it's using goodies that she sent to us, which I had a lot of fun with this. Um, I hope she enjoys it. And don't forget to check out all the other artists on the design team um, and see what they're up to, because there's so much goodness going on in the group. Uh, definitely check it out. And don't forget to check out uh, Gina's website or her Etsy shop or, you know, her Facebook page, any of the above if, if you're interested in looking at more of her goodies. 
Alright guys, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. I'll see you guys next month. Bye.